Hey, it's Gabby. So the businesswoman in me, the voice actress in me, the entrepreneur in me is completely fascinated by this incredible group in our industry. Not a very small group, mind you, but a really, really fascinating group of individuals. Full-time voice actors who are also full-time parents. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Specifically, the ones with new babies that are um, doing it all, all the time. And I am in awe because I don't know how they do it. I think about my workload and I think about my day and I go, I can't even imagine what it would be like to throw a baby, an infant, a toddler into that mix. But it's very common and it's done all the time. As a matter of fact, a lot of really amazing voice actors um, were previously on camera actors and theater and stage performers who left that world for voiceover specifically because voice allows them to be at home and to raise their kids. So I wanted to talk to some of these folks. Um, I've got three women lined up for the rest of this video that are absolutely incredible. I'm very proud to call them all friends. To me, they're just incredible. These are um, the model mommies of voiceover, if you will. And so I'm gonna shut up and let them talk and tell you all about what it's like, what their day is like, how exactly they go about making it all happen. Plus they're all pretty hot and in their own right, they actually could literally be models. Hi guys, Lindsay Shepard here. Gonna talk to you about being a mom and voice acting. So this is my baby girl. That's Charlotte, she is four months old and I also have a 10 year old little boy. So things get kind of crazy around here. So how do I do it? Multitasking, outsourcing, lots and lots of babysitters and just making use of every single moment honestly uh every nap hello <laughs> naps are a great time to get work done oh no no crying if I have an audition come in last minute I have an awesome husband who uh works from home with me also the biggest thing I've learned since having this little one is be super, super picky. Uh, I turn down so much stuff now and honestly it hasn't affected anything. If anything, the past two months have been the best two months of my entire career. They're only little for so long, so don't be afraid to say no. Outsourcing is huge. It's a great time saver. And I make sure to only audition for stuff that I know is going to pay for babysitter and editor. I've been focusing on narration work a lot lately, and that seems to work really well because you get to pick your own schedule for it. Baby wearing. Definitely, definitely baby wearing. It's pretty much the only way I can answer my emails and market and do all of the la-di-da stuff. Make sure to save lots of time for kisses. Work-life balance, being a mom in voiceover. Amongst other things, I, I coach, I am a singer, I do live performance, I'm an on-camera actor, so I, you know, I am spread pretty thin um, as it is. And adding a six-month-old baby boy, Sammy, and a four-year-old girl, Rania, adding them in the mix just make things makes things a little crazier as far as like work life stuff i would say a shared google calendar is a really good place to start that way your spouse or significant other kind of has an idea of what um you're doing audition wise time frames of those um auditions that are due when they're due but i do have also a task list that i uh write out handwritten task list and I get to all the important items at the top of the day like phone calls emails anything that's immediate that has to be done I try to get to that at the very top of my work day as a mom 
you know, you're, you're being pulled in so many different directions. And, uh, you know, taking time out for yourself is so important. And I'm learning that more and more as I go along. Really understand that Things aren't what they used to be. You know, now I have to juggle things. Um, and sleepless nights. That's it. I mean, sleepless nights. That That's what it about boils down to. Uh, you don't get a lot of sleep. You know, we have a lot of demands as, as talent. And it is important to understand that there are times when you're just going to have to give up your sleep. Oh, well. Um, small price to pay. Uh, but, you know, I don't forget to take that time out for myself now. That that really has made a difference, I think, in my life as far as balancing family and, and kids. As a full-time voice actor and a full-time mom, yes, we definitely have some challenges that, that we face. Um, I have a unique situation in that I'm also a single mom. So for the first 12 months, um, Michael refused to take a bottle, which meant that I was nursing him every three hours, and that meant during my work day as well. So from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., I would work in the studio while he went to a daycare or school. And now he's climbing on the chair. So, uh, and then I would go up to his school and I would nurse him. And then from 2 p.m. <laughs> so then from 2 to 5, then I would work and then I would go pick him up and that would be the end of the day. Uh, now my schedule's a little different. I actually take him to school at 9 a.m. and then I work until 4 p.m. At uh, 4 p.m. I go and I pick him up and then I'm full-time mom. So that gives me seven hours in the day that I do all of my... Audition. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. Hi, we're back and everybody's fine. Uh, Michael just started walking a week ago, so sometimes he takes uh, little spills now and then, and it's also nap time, so we're a little bit moody. <laughs> So as I was saying, uh, yes, it, it definitely can be a challenge. Uh, my work day is seven hours a day, approximately, um, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, during that time, I am recording, I'm invoicing, I'm marketing, I'm um, working with my agents and doing everything that I can for the business. It's also the time that I clean my house and I cook meals and I do the things that we need to be able to function throughout the day. So how does anyone get that done between... Um, nine and four well first of all it's not easy <laughs> and second of all I do have help because the bottom line is is we work in an industry that you have to be flexible things don't always happen on a schedule emergencies happen late in the day and um, you need to be able to record I'm extremely fortunate I have amazing neighbors friends family people nearby that come and and help me out and so we're gonna wear we're gonna wear mommy's hair um, yes, so so I do. I have people that, that help me out and they make this possible and without them I don't know what I would do. So I am able actually to record at last minute's notice um, and it, that's basically how I'm able to keep doing this full time. So uh, I think that's kind of my job in a nutshell and my child and my dog and my life and my house. So uh, yeah, we're going to go take a nap now. Can you say bye bye to everybody? Can you say bye-bye? Yeah, not in the mood. There we go. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks a lot.